There was a Grand Theft Bus CD release show. It was just like packed for one. I can remember sitting down and just feeling like that I was like witnessing something that was like monumental for here, you know? The, the Playhouse staff <laughs> were having the, a hell of a time because they were just going around to all the different rows and aisles and telling people to sit down because everyone was like getting up and dancing and, um, but it was just so good. When everything keeps moving. It was just at a point where they were, um, I think they were just looking for something to freshen up the experience and, and this is something I've learned a lot about those guys is that they have lasted because they find a way to keep it interesting for themselves and not so much worrying about other people but but it was like hey let's throw a keyboard player in here just because that'll make things new for us it, it was as simple as like hey you want to play keys for us and I said sure I mean I'll, I, you got to think that that is as much an honor for me as it would be for anybody. Like, you know, I used to listen to Grand Theft Bus sitting in my dorm room, just like anybody did. So, you know, I feel very fortunate to, to have been ever given that opportunity. But that show, um, the morning of, we had one rehearsal. So the, the guys told me, you know, out of the catalog of, at that point, I think there were three albums. They said, you know, here's the songs that we play. And that was all I got. So I sat down for a week and kind of went through them. I, I do remember the first show, I had post-it notes on my keyboard with like chord progressions because it was just so much information. But we rehearsed one time, it was the morning of the show, we rehearsed in Renew Boutique. We ran through everything once, and then we got in the van and drove to Halifax. And there were so many eye-opening things about that day. The first being that they, you know, at that point they had been together for 10 years. Um, they toured the country. They throw a new guy into the band, and their advice to me is, Whatever your instinct is, is probably right. guys it's literally just on paper like we're gonna play this song we're gonna find our way here and the idea of they don't know how they're gonna get from one song to the next is back to that thing of you know keeping it keeping it fun and it, it it's as interesting for them as it is for the audience you know in terms of like of just seeing what's gonna happen on any given night so those two things that like really changed my perspective on like playing with other people mm -hmm. 